This is Mike Franklin, the property tax guy. And today I'm going to uh, uh, do a, a part two of the revaluation at the city of Oswego. I had a few more uh, points I wanted to make. Uh, today is March 21st, 2024. And, um, and I watched some news items uh, uh, on, on this topic. And apparently uh, uh, the former mayor and uh, his son is on the current uh, uh, county council, and they want the, um, the revaluation uh, rescinded. And um, so I don't know these people, but um, you know, just when you think you've seen it all, you haven't seen anything. That they're going to bring politics into this thing, and to try to um, you know leverage people being upset for political gain disingenuous behavior that's my observation it's pretty darn concerning the mayor and the common council i don't know any of them um you know i'm just reviewing you know what's going on with the uh the assessments and the reveal uh in that area i don't know a single one of those uh, people so i have no bias in the matter but the reveal needs to be done it was last done in 1997. It's, it's just unacceptable. And it's good that they're uh, willing to um, uh, pursue it now to, um, you know, to get it done. And then uh, that are being undermined by uh, the uh, former mayor and his uh, and his son. I find it to be dis despicable, really. Um, and um, <clears throat> so, you know, there was people that wanted it rescinded. There was people who wanted it delayed or extended somehow. Neither of those are viable options. Um, the the uh, all the municipalities across the state have a timeline on how these things are handled, and uh, we can't just change it for the city of Oswego. Um, you know, the people have plenty of time to uh, to be um, challenging their assessment. They can they can talk to um, the uh, GAR associates or appraisals. Uh, then they can go to board with assessment review at the end of May, and then they can go to SCAR. Uh, uh, you know, they can um, file for that by the end of July. So they got plenty of time to uh, to uh, address that. So that's that's really not an issue. <clears throat> but um, um, and and delaying it is just not it's not a practical thing. And then as far as you know, rescinding it, they spent three hundred thousand dollars on it. You know, once they made the decision to do it, they need to they need to follow through and do it. Just throwing away three hundred thousand dollars and all this work is um, is a, a ludicrous thought process for a political gain. And I hope that the public can see through this kind of political behavior. Uh, they're being um, you know, they they think that you're stupid somehow and that you don't know the game that they're playing. Um, and uh, you know, the uh, I applaud the mayor, the current mayor, and the current common council, um, or the or the common council that voted to proceed with this. I applaud them for um, for getting to this and, uh, and and doing what it is that you're supposed to do. They were paid to do this job properly. It hasn't been done in the past since 1997. It hasn't been done properly, but at least they're getting to it now. And I saw the former mayor speak on um, one of the news stations and, um, you know, calling for this revaluation to be rescinded. And uh, I think that uh, you can see there why this hasn't been done um, uh, prior to this. It's because of people like him who, who fold the political pressure um, and don't follow through and do what it is that they're paid to do. Uh, again, I'm not interested in in the uh, personalities and the politics of it. I'm just telling you uh, what is obvious has transpired. Um, let's see. Uh, people were uh, complaining about the town out of town appraiser. Um, apparently the company's from Williams town or Williamsville over by Buffalo. The, uh, the guy who appears to be heading this up is from Saratoga Springs. And they don't, uh, and people are concerned that they don't know the uh, the local market. Um, <clears throat> well, you know, they're doing a reevaluation in Elbridge, and the guy they got to do the reval 
does know the local market and they're complaining about him too. So, um, but, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to say it's completely illegitimate concern. Um, I handle assessment matters all over the state, 32 counties so far. And um, I don't need to know the local market uh, in order to, um, to do my job. And I, I, I would say the appraiser doesn't uh, either. I think what it is that they want him to know about is the local politics, you know, to make certain certain people are taken care of, you know, in, in these matters. So I think they're talking about politics, not valuation. And um, so, uh, but I think ultimately, once this is all done, you'll be able to figure out whether or not um, GAR associates or appraisers, whatever their name is, did the job properly and not. And since it's too late to turn back, you're just going to have to wait and see. Let's wait and see. Um, also, uh, the city of Syracuse, coincidentally, hasn't done a rebel since 1997. Kind of weird. It's the same year. Um, and uh, they um, they spot assess. They, um, they uh, selectively assess. They violate welcome stranger. They're, they're under pressure to get their equalization rate up so they can keep kicking this can down the road because the politicians don't want to deal with the chaos like this. As you can see, why they, that's why they'd want to avoid it is to avoid these circumstances. It's how people get voted out of office. But the thing is, they were paid to do this job and they need to do this job. And so people were uh, talking about uh, suing the city of, um, of Oswego. And um, <clears throat> I'm not a lawyer, but... Um, but uh, I've got some credit experience about how the court handles scar hearings. And then I've seen bar hearings, you know, literally hundreds of them. And I've had experience, um, small claims, a Supreme Court, uh, my, my clients uh, doing uh, state Supreme Court. So I've got a feel for how judges, you know, think or how they may rule. And uh, from my perspective, I would think that um, um, in my, my guess is that if a state Supreme Court judge looked at this situation, that state Supreme Court judge would say um, they're supposed to get to 100 percent. They're trying to get to 100 um, percent. All the other municipalities in this county, except for one, aren't doing it and they're trying to do it. So what more do you want from them? So I don't think yeah, suing the city of uh Oswego and this matter is uh, going to get them anywhere. And also it's just not productive because it's just going to cost the taxpayers more money. So I think that's just foolishness. Um, if they don't provide their data, that's a different story. Um, so I, I'll, I'll be interested to see if they are open and transparent with their data. And, um, and if they are, I like the attitude of the assessor who says he's, he will take the time to speak to everyone and review their, their matter. And so um, that's all That's all we can expect him to, to do. Um, people at the um, public hearing were very confused. And I think a lot of that is on the state. And, um, and I think the state is, um, they need to fix the SCAR law. And um, uh, they need to clean up these forms to make them more uh, simple for people because there's a lot of redundancy in these forms. And, um, you know, the RP 524, the RP 730A, um, those forms can be greatly simplified. There, there's terminology in there that confuses people. It's completely unnecessary. Also, uh, actually, on the uh, 738, uh, it doesn't accurately describe how they're supposed to do service. Um, you know, it's like every county is different and um, you know, they, they got to be explicit so that people know what to do because these assessors will get their cases dismissed on the technicality if they don't. So so I think the state is um, partially responsible for this. And um, and it's it's uh, one thing that's that's uh, curious to me about the state program that they use, that the assessors use. They have a comparable sales report. They don't want to give it up. But they have it, but they don't have a comparable assessment report, and um, so so the people can check what's unequal. I find that to be curious. Um, but uh, but anyway, I uh, I uh, 
every year I call my assemblyman and my state senator to relay my concerns with the um, issues with the um, real property tax law. And every year they don't give a damn. Um, uh, state Senator Barkley, uh, he probably doesn't give a damn because um, he owns all that waterfront from uh, Lake Ontario to uh, to uh, Alaska. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And uh, you know, we're talking dozens of parcels. And I looked at them and reviewed them. And none of them appear to be classified as waterfront. And I believe that... Uh, that his property, my professional opinion as a broker and um, as an expert in valuation is that his property is under assessed by perhaps millions of dollars and not just one million dollars, millions of dollars. And, um, and that means the, the people of the county of Oswego are subsidizing the Barclays real estate holdings, the town of Richland is, and the school district up there. Um, and, um, and so it's no wonder he doesn't want to, uh, talk about assessment matters or get into fixing the, uh, fixing this law. Um, and it's important to fix this law and it's important that it be, um, just and, and that there be integrity to it because homeowners are the foundation of the country. They do not, uh, burn police precincts or police cars or car dealerships. Um, if you think of those things that, that, that have transpired, I can assure you, none of the people involved were homeowners. And so they are the foundation of the country. Um, they, it creates a circumstance where children can be raised in a stable environment to be productive citizens. So it's extremely important that there be integrity in this process. And um, <clears throat> it's pretty, con pretty clear to me that the taxpayers in Oswego that showed up to that public hearing do not have confidence in the integrity of this process. And, um, and that's, um, that's problematic. And something needs to be done about it. I know the assessor is doing his very best. Um, uh, we'll see about the people that did the evaluation. Um, and, um, uh, but it's, um, if you don't pay your taxes, they will remove you from your property at gunpoint. The sheriff will remove you. So um, that's not really ownership, that's renting. And so what we're doing is we're upholding the illusion of home ownership. And um, so it's extremely important that there be integrity to this process um, because uh, we're a country of renters and, um, and, and it's, un it's unfortunate. Um, property taxes are perpetual. And, um, and if you don't pay them, they will auction off your house. And actually until this year, they wouldn't even give you any equity if, if it's sold for more than uh, what you owed in taxes. There was a, a Supreme Court case uh, on the matter. I can't believe it took till now for that to be established or, or confirmed uh, that people should get their equity. But the thing is that if you're in a tax auction, it's not like it's marketed properly. And uh, so you're probably not gonna get the full value of the property you probably end up with nothing. Um, you end up with nothing anyway. But um, but at least now you might get some equity. But uh, but that's that's just isn't ownership. So the um, there's no turning back. The valuation needs to be completed, uh, and people need to know that. Um, and the assessor repeated it over and over again. Uh, so you talk to the GAR associates about your revaluation. Um, you can file the RP 524 for the Board of Assessment Review towards the end of May. Um, and uh, he's willing to talk to you and he may stipulate with you. The Board of Assessment Review has to sign off on it. You can't just do it himself. And if you can't get anywhere with the Board of Assessment Review, then you can go to SCAR. And so you have plenty of time to do it. And um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to tell you what it is that I know at no cost. If you uh, want me to handle it for you and just take care of it for you, I can do that and I'll give you a proposal. Uh, you can just you know, give me a call, Mike Franklin, 315-876-2262, thepropertytaxguy.com. Um, I have uh, many years experience as, uh, as both um, an advocate for taxpayers, but I was also a state hearing officer, SCAR hearing officer, 
for four years in six counties. So I have a lot of uh, experience on both sides of this um, of this scenario. And I've been a broker for many years of unique properties all over upstate New York. I know how to value properties and I know how to do research. And so uh, if you have any questions, just uh, give, give me a call. Again, it's Mike Franklin, 315-876-2262.